The Alberta NDP think that they have a solution for the non-existent problem of women's inequality. They're offering up grants because nothing says equality like a hand up from the government. No really, I'm not joking. Lately, the NDP have been flooding the media with press releases about essentially nothing. And I'm assuming it's a tactic to cover up for all of the really stupid things that they're doing. But if you sift through all of them long enough, you'll find little gems like this one here. Minister of the Status of Women Stephanie McLean recently announced $500,000 in grants to apparently improve the lives of women and girls to help them reach their full potential. The grants can be used to organize conferences, training and events, special projects, mentorship programs and expanding initiatives. Meanwhile, tens of thousands of men in the province are out of work, in part due to the NDP's destructive business-killing policies. Last week, a report suggesting that Saskatchewan will outdrill Alberta next year shows that this is an accurate statement. Yet, I don't see the government making any attempts to solve this very real problem. Instead, they're focusing on throwing money at a problem that doesn't exist. I don't know how many times this myth about inequality between genders in North America has to be debunked. But if you're complaining about it, might I point you to Saudi Arabia, where women can't drive or they get thrown in jail, or other Middle Eastern countries where women are made into sex slaves and aren't treated as equals under the law whatsoever. Not only is this whole issue a myth, but treating women like they're helpless and needy and in need of government grants and handouts to succeed and solve their problems in life doesn't exactly spell out equality. It's actually an insult and a perversion of the idea of justice. This is exactly why playing the identity politics game doesn't work and the notion is poisonous. These types of empty ideas serve to divide and fragment populations. All in all, this is just another one of those non-issue policies that the NDP think that they can throw taxpayer money at and it won't change a thing. Kind of like how taxing us for carbon emissions won't change the weather. For The Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks so much for watching. Do you receive our Rebel emails yet? If not, click the link below and sign up so that you don't miss any of our updates.